Hi guys, my name is Jed and this is my boy Freddy and in today's video we're going to be discussing five important questions you should ask before rehoming a Whippet. I myself rehomed Freddy around three years ago and it was one of the most fulfilling and best decisions I've ever made in my life. Anyone can rehome a dog so long as the human is the right fit for the dog. So here are five important questions you need to ask before rehoming a Whippet. But before we jump in, Freddy and I would love it if you guys could support the channel by subscribing today. And don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment box below about your rehomed puppy dog. Question one, to what standard is the Whippet trained? Now remember, Whippets are fast and they chase small animals like squirrels, birds and rabbits. Whippets are lazy dogs, but they do have lots of energy at the same time and very short attention spans. If you're planning on rehoming a Whippet, it's reassuring to know that the Whippet has the basics down, like sitting and waiting. And if you'd like to take your Whippet for walks off lead, it's nice to know that the dog can behave while off lead out exploring. If not, don't panic, it's never too late to teach an old dog new tricks. Number two, does the Whippet have any underlying health conditions? It's easy to forget to ask important questions like this. Getting a puppy or rehoming a dog is a very exciting time. And when we arrive and we see the puppy or we see the dog, the cuteness of the puppy can override our brains and we just forget to ask important questions like this. And the last thing you wanna do is to get back home and to realize or figure out that the dog does have an underlying health condition and it's now your responsibility. Question three, what is the dog's bowel movement like? Rehoming a dog can be very stressful for the dog and the stress of everything can lead to an upset stomach and diarrhea. If you return home and your dog is suffering with diarrhea, it's usually a telltale sign that your dog is feeling stressed. To help overcome this, just make sure that fresh water is available, a nice comfortable bed, and lots of care, love, and attention. But be careful, it's quite easy to overwhelm an already stressed dog with too much touching or cuddling or kisses. Dogs are usually very good at telling you as and when they need a bit of alone time, so just be aware of that. Question four, can the dog be around children, dogs, and cats? If you're rehoming a dog and the dog has maybe had a bad experience with other dogs, cats, and children, I'd probably suggest avoiding rehoming this particular dog should you have any one of these three things waiting at home. This one is quite easy to avoid because typically the current owners of the dog will be able to tell you whether or not they think the dog will be okay around children, cats, and other dogs. Question five, does the dog have any paperwork? This is probably the most important question of them all. It's always important to get a signed receipt and all other paperwork when purchasing or rehoming your dog, such as microchip details, certificates, and any sort of dog clubs that they may be a member of. These are all things that now link you to the dog as its new owner. So when are you thinking about rehoming a dog? I'd love to hear from all of you guys in the comment box below whether you're thinking about rehoming a dog, have already rehomed a dog, or have been rehoming dogs all of your life. Please do get involved in the comment box below Add any other important questions for future dog rehomers in the comment box below. It will be super helpful and I believe these sorts of videos are very important to save people from making the same mistakes that I made when rehoming Freddy. See you in the next one.